Hey guys, Delilah Design here, Tanya. Um, just doing a little crafting today. And I thought I would just pop on here and show you guys what I'm doing. Um, so I'm painting these clay pots. And I'm going to add some transfers to them. Like this. Um, these are the Iron Orchid Decor French Clay Pot Transfers. Let's see. Let me show you what the package looks like. Um, they're really cool. They're actually I use on the little small pots. This one. I use this transfer that has six small um, transfers in the package so they're made for these little little pots um, they're really cute I love the way it turned out I think I made yeah I made six of them here's another one Oops. but I was just gonna paint I'm just painting this one and then I will add a transfer to one that's already dried for you guys just to show you how easy it is um, and also using clay or I mean well chalk type paint is really good for clay pots um, it really covers well just in one coat and if I'm going to use these outside, I'll put a little poly on it um, just to protect it. But it's super easy and they paint up really well. Um, yeah, I'll just finish this one. And then I'll show you how to do the transfer. But I'm using my Zebra Square brush. I like this because... Um, it's good on the I don't paint the inside do you guys normally paint the inside um, but I just go around the rim like that and try not to get much on the inside and this brush is just this parts already dry so um, it's just really good for the size of pot and it's a little stiff so it helps you Helps kind of get the paint on there well. I like it. I use this little brush more and more. So this is, I'm using Italian Ivory Paint Couture. And if you've never tried um, painting the clay pots, you should because it's surprising how easily the paint just kind of soaks soaks in there um, it's a fun little project too so hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing so I'm getting these ready um, I'm just going to take a bunch of them to my booth at Sleepy Poet and um, yeah, I think I think they'll be cute. I love the way they've turned out. I'll show you the bigger ones too in a minute. So okay, so that's that really. Um, and then just let it dry to the touch, and then you can go ahead and put the transfer. And you're done, really. But like I said, if you want to use it outside, I would do a, a top coat of some sort. Um, like a spray poly or something like that. This one... Oh, let me show you guys something. Have you ever used these for painting? I got this at the Dollar Tree. These little for um, muffin tins. But they're so awesome for paint because you can just wash this out. This one's new, but um, I just wash them out over and over and over again. 
and they're really awesome just pour a little bit of the paint in there but it'd be good you know if you've got several colors going on um, it's really cool anyway so this one's already painted with paint couture piece hopefully the color kind of shows up but it's a really pretty kind of like I call it like a mushroom beige color um, I like it okay so let me show you how to do the transfers so let's see let me show you what they look like first of all So they come in this box and they're on a sheet. If I can get it out. Let me see. <laughs> All right. So, um, so these are a little bigger than the ones I'm using on these pots. These are for larger pots. But see, these are individual little transfers. So you can actually cut cut these, cut this one out, cut this one out, and use them all separately. Um, you can even cut in between the design. So if you just want to use this word, you would cut that out, and you could, you could cut the whole thing and kind of place things wherever you want them. Um, and that's what I've done on a lot of these little pots because the one I'm going to show you, um, it didn't all fit on the pot, so this is the one I'm going to use. Um, and this is the top part. This was above it, like this, and I, I cut it off, so because all of it wouldn't fit. And actually, I'll still cut cut some of it off at the bottom. Um, but so I cut it, and I think I'm going to put this word up here. Um, so I'm just going to trim it up a little bit. This is a perfect time to do this project for spring. Um, you know, make you some cute little custom clay pots that you can't buy somewhere. So you just, oh, I did that too fast, but you just take that white backing off, this little white part, you just take it off, you place the transfer where you want it to go, and this little stick is included um, in the package, so you just rub it. And this just transfers the um, transfer. <laughs> Guess that's why they call it a transfer, right? <laughs> um, onto the pot. And it kind of, once you use these a little while, you can kind of get a feel for when it has transferred because it kind of turns white underneath. Um, but I'll show you. Let's see. So you get the corner up, and then you just peel it back slowly. Don't pull it too fast. Um, and if you get to a spot where it hasn't transferred yet, you just put the clear first layer back down and then you just rub again and get that on there. I'm going to do this. It's coming off, but I just want to make sure it's laying down really well. Okay, I think it's on there. Yep. So, and see it's it's really, really flat. Um, 
yeah, it sticks really well. Okay, so then I just want to decide, I'm going to trim this up a little because I kind of want this to be level on the top where I'm going to place it. Trim it. Alright, let's see. It's kind of hard because you can't see underneath. Let's see. I think I will... I think I'll cut it right under these words, even though I really like that little design. But I don't, it's not going to fit. So... I'm going to cut it, and then maybe I'll use that somewhere else on the same pot. We'll see. Okay. Then just peel it off the back. You should kind of do it slow. Not like I did earlier. I did it too fast. Okay, so, and then just, I just eyeball it, really. Let's see. That looks good. Then you just, you kind of, I press it in place with my hands a little first to get it to kind of stick down. Um. Then you just start rubbing with the little stick here. These are so fun because you can whip out a bunch of them fast. <laughs> I think this will be a fun class too. What do y'all think? I'm going to keep rubbing it. Probably is good, but I just want to make sure. So, they make these really large, too. Um, you guys have probably seen them, but they make really large ones that you can put on furniture. These transfers, like, um, it'll cover the whole front of a chest of drawers, or... Hey, Lisa! Um, or, like, a dresser top or something like that. They're really cool. Hey, how you doing? Just doing a little crafting, which is fun at the dining room table. Hey, Miranda. Have you guys seen these little clay pot transfers? They're so fun. Okay, let me, let's see, my A is not sticking, so I'm going to just keep rubbing there. So when you do the big ones, like the ones for the chest of drawers, you get, like, it kind of wears you out because you have to rub so much. <laughs> but it's totally worth it. Um, but at the end, you're like, whoa, that was a lot. But anyway, these are fun because they're pretty fast. I'll show you guys, I, I showed earlier some examples of some really cute ones I've already finished. Well, let me show you. See these little ones? I love them. And these, this one is British gray with a little Arctic white dry brushed on. And the little transfer. So, they're cute. Oops, don't do that. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, I think it's ready. Yay! So this one's all just text, um, except the part. I couldn't fit this part on, so I cut it, cut it off. And I might use it, what do you think, maybe on the back? Okay, so this is the front. But, um... 
yeah, it's totally a great arm workout. <laughs> I think that'd be cute on the back. What do you guys think? Might as well, right? It's just, otherwise it, it wouldn't be used, so. Okay. So you just take it off the backing and place it. Let me see kind of where the front and the, yeah. Kind of get it straight. I just eyeball it. Yeah, so I've made one, two, three, six, eight. I've made eight of these so far. <laughs> Aren't the best days the days when you can just craft and hang out, drink coffee? <laughs> um, I love it, so not often I get to do this. Let's see. I might be ready. Nope. The little tiny, tiny letters, you have to kind of get those pretty good. Nope. Nope. The good thing, I, I think I don't know if you guys missed this part, but if you peel it up and your letter is kind of coming up on the clear part, you just lay it back down and just rub more and it will transfer. And then, um, I said this earlier too, but it kind of gets white underneath. Like you can, once you do these for a little while, you can kind of tell. Almost. So the little transfers, they come in a pack of six. Um, and you, you know, I made six pots out of one little package. Okay, I think that's it. And you can even sand these a little. I probably will do that. Sand it with um, maybe 220 grit. Um, Miranda, I have them on my website. I'll drop a link in here. Um, and I think I have all three of these in stock. So there's, I was showing these earlier, but these are bigger ones, like for bigger pots. These. Um, and then, like I said, these little ones, I used this package, so it has these six, six different ones in there. But, yeah, I think it's cute. But anyway, what I was saying is I will sand this down a little, like with 220 grit. It'll give it like a little more distressed look, and it'll kind of flatten it into the surface a little. Kind of make it, you know, look a little better. And I will, um, I'll put a coat of poly on these because I'm, well, I'm actually going to sell these, but I don't know if my customer's going to use them outside. So I just want them to be sealed since I'm just using paint couture and it needs to be sealed some way. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I'll show you, well, I got to do this big one too, but here's one in white. It's Italian ivory actually, cream, creamy white. Fun. So yeah, I'll drop a link um, for my website. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Alrighty. Talk to you later.